Oh, and uh, my reign still hasn't ended. Uh, I am at the age of 55. I expect next episode I'm going to die properly. Uh, it just turns out this guy's a pretty tough king. Psh, go figure. Hello, and welcome back everybody to European Universalis 4, YouTuber Succession Game, as Lang Sang. Specifically as King Kantam Say the First Kun Lo. At the age, just check the age. Uh, at the age of 55, so I would not be surprised if this is the last episode, as I very unprofessionally and discreetly close the door of my recording room. I shall now continue the, um, the campaign, shall we say, of our good king. There is a loan. Is not something I was aware of. Apparently, there is a loan. Uh, Patani rebels are going to rise up, and I'm okay with them rising up for one very simple reason. They should rise up in this area, right? I don't know. I am not particularly bothered to look. So I'm just going to put troops here and we're going to wait for them. Uh, not knowing where they're going to pop. It doesn't exactly matter. These guys are the next on the entire war, grand scheme of things, target place. Which is totally a good name for any political thing that exists. Alright? Glad we got that out of the way. I would like these guys to go up and attack um, the last sort of province of our long, long time rival since the beginning of, of the game. Um, and it would be quite the feat to actually take over their last province as this king and will be something to, to remember him by, I suppose. But this loan we need to pay back. And... Um... When will they rise? 0 0.8 years, 0 0.7 years, and the rest are ages and ages away. Siakian. Where is Siak... Siakian? Hold on. Siakian nationalists. Would I would imagine that's in Siak, right? <laughs> yeah, it's in Siak, Yambi, and that place. So these guys will rise up here then, probably somewhere. Let's get up there and wait for them then. Um, and pay off this loan as soon as possible. Um, how are we doing on the troop maintenance thing? It's 57. Uh, I would like to buy a few more cannons. Uh, that's going to happen after we pay back the loan, and hopefully right before I die. <laughs> um, I still have a concentrate embargo on them because they're, they control like a lot of the naval area here, but it isn't nearly as costly as it used to be, so that's great. Um... I actually took a lot of land. I was looking back at where I started, or imagining, imagining. I, I was, um, what's the word? Reminis no, reminiscing. No, reminiscent reminds of something. It's. I was recalling back. There's a different word for that. I was. I was recalling back to the times when I started playing as this glorious nation of ours that we have built through time, and I was like, man, that was a pretty damn small country. Now look at this glorious font. It turns out that we can indeed into world domination. Um, but that's something that, that you know, okay, I'm okay with that mostly. Um, let's put the troops in position and get ready to kick some ass. Patani was up here. This is Pasai, so it would be Pasayan, and Patani is a different nation, I would assume. Although I don't really know, and to be honest, I don't really care, and, and when you're in my position, you don't really need to care that much. Um, I forgot about something that's you know, that may or may not be of vital importance to this campaign, which is um, military. <laughs> so let's split them off so they don't take any attrition losses and wait for some reinforcements. Uh, stability cost modifier goes down, I guess. It's just, we're just having him for the admin points, to be honest. Nothing else, really. Um, minus nine, so there goes all our money away, again. 
Um, and I was leaving the country with one loan when I when I die is not going to be a d disaster of any in any way, shape, or form. Two more rebels pop down there. I'm actually going to uh, leave here three infantry and take the fourteen troops over here and have them fight alongside the rest of the troops from the northern reaches of our country, uh, which should be attacking right now. 23rd, 26th, 25th, 26th, alright, sync up the attacks nicely, and uh, there's no reason to go in like any particular order, so half at a time should be okay. We're still making money, yeah, we're making money when we're not reinforcing troops, so... That means we can technically support this high amount of, of units. And, whoa, stop, stop right there. Oh, that's a shame. That is a shame. Um, I expected this episode to go on for a bit longer. Uh, now we have a stability drop, obviously, because I died. Um, King Long the First Kun Lo. Ong Long. Ong Long Kun Lo. Have fun saying that. Ong Long Kun Lo. I thought mine was bad. Now this is worse. Uh, the next rule is going to be a 3 3 3. So, if everything goes right and okay with the world. Uh, as a strong claim. He's good. He's good. Um, yeah. I can't touch anything right now, that's the deal, uh, I'm dead, and I cannot touch anything other than go here, save, this, override, yes, and we're good. That's how it goes, in case you, I don't know if how many people showed this, but the deal is you can't touch anything right now, you just stop, uh, even though, let's say, I have these troops to move somewhere or something, and at least issue orders, no, no, you don't touch anything. Even though there's troops here suffering attrition and, and, you know, it doesn't matter. You don't touch anything. What I will say right now is uh, just just to keep the episode going a bit longer because I don't want to end at, like, 15 minutes. Oh, I don't want to end at, like, 5 minutes. Uh, what I will say is that we have a, a bit of a tricky situation. Um, Daiviet has been colonized by Ming, so that's not exactly ideal. Uh, Ming despises us as they are, we are now a competing great power for some reason. Fair enough, I suppose. Um, we need to deal with these rebels down here. And the money that we're making is not ideal. But it, 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 we are in the middle of a crisis, so I guess that's okay. Uh, we can see some of the Ottoman territories. We can actually see Venice, oddly enough. And I would like to check out what the tech of Venice is. Uh, maybe Belligary. 11, 11, 12. And ours would be 955. Five. So, in terms of military, we are not millions of light, light years away from, from Europe. We're actually kind of doing okay. Uh, some, I guess some advice to my next, um, to, to my successor. Yeah, focus on military. As soon as you can uncheck this, click on military and, and focus on that. Because you need to stay on, on course with everything. Attack these guys, these guys, and these guys. Expand in the south. Colonize, which I am, I am doing. I haven't fucked that up entirely. Uh, don't worry about the economy. If you take, have to take another loan, do it. Uh, just get rid of the rebels because then you're going to have a stable country and lots of troops. Uh, vassalize Pegu because they love us uh, mostly. They love us most of the time. Beware of Ming, the big orange, the big sort of weirdly. It, it, it is the color of. of Shit. It is a color of diarrhea, more or less. Depends on what you've eaten, though. The color of... A really pale color of diarrhea, Ming. Uh, I have to insult my rivals. Come on. It's, it's, like, it's literally a part of the game. Look. <laughs> Be... You know, watch out for them. And, and try and not piss... Don't piss them off. Improve relations with them. I found that could be helpful a lot. Uh, keep our opinion of them... Or their opinion of us over 100. Or rather, over minus 100, because then they're kind of not too likely to attack us. If it, goes, if it dips below 100, then they, they probably will. 
but our allies are there to ensure some some safety and stability in the north. Uh, I would like to have some influence in what happens in India, as that's a fun place to be in, but I don't know, that, that's, that's like not for the right now. There's islands you can colonize everywhere. If you want to colonize in this direction, you can absolutely do that, and I would actually suggest seizing up some land over here. Um, just to get closer to the Europeans. Tech-wise, you need to tech up, man. Um, whoever you are that will play, because I'm not sure who will play yet. Um, yeah. Tech up. Increase stability by one as soon as you can. You just need one more admin point. Uh, a temple. You know, build, build temples. When you get rid of the loans, build temples, because that will improve your economy a lot. And you'll be able to support all those troops that I've built for you. If you have 100 legitimacy, you have two good allies up here. If you could ally Bengal, um, do it after we attack Ming, which is not going to be during your rule time, probably. I suggest you focus in the south. Colonize and attack these people. Don't ally any of them. It's worthless. They're the wrong religion, I think. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they're Hindu down here and animist up here. So, actually, that's uncolonized land, well, apart from this one. So yeah, like just just attack them. Don't um, don't think about allying any of them. You don't you really don't need to focus your diplomatic efforts elsewhere. If you can befriend somehow Manchu or the Oriat, we are the same religion as the Oriat. Um, you know, one of these guys somewhere would, might be helpful um, in the long run. Get rid of these rebels and good luck to you. Whoever you are that is going to play this. Um, the diplomats aren't doing anything right now. There's a missionary doing his stuff. As far as the army composition goes, it's not ideal, but be careful how many cannons you recruit. And there we go. That's more or less it, I'm afraid. Uh, no time for anything else. As I'm dead, I'm literally talking beyond the grave, but you can say that this is my last sort of will and my testimony. So, yeah. If you want naval supremacy, I've built you 11 ships, uh, trade ships. And once you get rid of the loan, uh, or the loans, depending on if you take another one, which I really don't think you will be, a, you will need to. Um, you can build a few more of those. You can build a few more characters. They came in really helpful against Pasai. Uh, people will know that we've held naval supremacy most of the time, even when they landed troops up here. We didn't care about that very much. And we were able to get our get our forces across and, and invade them. So in an, in an, in future wars against Ming, we might need a few more characters, but they're expensive, and I suggest you build more trade ships because there is a decent buck to be made from trading and pr from protecting trade. As he is, it's it's not bad. Um, there we go. That, that I have nothing else to tell you. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Uh, the reign of our good now deceased king and um in the link in the description down below will be the link to the next guy that will play uh, as well as the person that's played previously yeah uh, as for me now that my round is over i'm going to be playing a hell of a lot of state of decay the year one edition or the year one year survival edition whatever it's called and i'm going to be playing a hell of a lot of um heroes of the storm I'm going to be probably doing videos on both of those games, as they're really, really fun, and I'm having a blast with them right now. That is as soon as my internet gets fixed, and it's kind of looking better in the, the last two or three days. Two days, actually, but, uh, but I'm assuming that in a few days I will have it completely fixed. And by the time these videos go up, it will be fixed completely, and improve, and I'll get like the different router, and uh, everything is going to be better. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, and uh, until next time, take care. Bye-bye.